What wakes you up? What drives you? Why are you playing this game? Is it just a game? Or do you eat it? Do you sleep it? Do you drink it? to start all over. You almost feel like an outsider. The coaches are sympathetic, but they still have to coach, and you're not there. It's a dark place. Probably the darkest it's ever been. You're sad and down and out, and you ask yourself, why did this have to happen? It's in this moment that you find out who you really are and what you're really about. Most of us go through life with our brakes on, holding back, not giving all that we have, not sharing all of ourselves. Most of us go to our graves still holding on rather than releasing it because of past experiences, past defeats, past pain. We look back, well, it didn't work out then. It probably won't work out now. And tonight, we were exposed for what we are right now. It means that what I did didn't work tonight. And I've got to separate what I do from who I am. I feel like we all have two battles or two enemies going on. One with the man across from you. The second is with the man inside of you. I think once you control the one inside of you, the one across from you really doesn't matter. And I think that's what we're all trying to do. You aren't handed anything. You earn everything, every single day, over and over again. You have to prove it. Get down. Keep your knees off the ground, just your hands and feet. There you go. A little bit left. There you go. It's gonna be good effort. You keep coming. There you go. It's a good start. A little bit left. A little bit left. Good strength. That's it. Get the 20. You give me your best. You keep going. That's it. You got more in you than that. You gotta keep moving. Let's keep moving. Let's go. Don't quit till you got nothing left. There you go. Keep moving. Keep driving. Keep your knees off the ground. Keep driving. Very best. You're very best. You're very best. Keep moving. That's it. That's it. That's it. Keep going. Don't quit them. Keep going. Keep driving. Keep driving. Keep your knees off the ground. That's it. You're very best. Don't quit them. You're very best. Keep driving. Keep driving. There you go. There you go. Keep driving. Keep your knees off the ground. Keep driving. Don't quit till you got nothing left. That's it. That's it. That's it. Keep going. I want everything you got. Come on, keep going. Don't quit them. You're very bad. Keep driving. Keep driving. There you go. There you go. He's heavy. I know he's heavy. I'm so out of strength. Then you negotiate with your body to find more strength, but don't you give up on me. You keep going, you hear me? You keep going. You're doing good. You keep going. Do not quit on me. You keep going. It hurts. I know it hurts. You keep going. You keep going. It's all hard from here. 30 more steps. Keep going! Come on! Keep going! Burn! And let it burn! Burn! It's so hard! You keep going! Come on! Come on! Keep going! I wish there was no suffering. 
and it's, it just comes with the job. Some of the greatest work comes from pain or some great work comes from, from love, from loss. It's, it's like wanting to be the best at whatever you do. Never stop until you're the best. Like, I don't believe in doing anything halfway. I believe in going all the way. So, you never stop. When you see hard times and you get knocked down, get back up. And if you keep putting everything you got into it, and you keep getting back up when you get knocked down, it's almost impossible to fail. Push until it hurts. Or you, you sort of, you wanna be a, always pushing beyond what you're comfortable with and um, you're sweating just a little bit all the time and, and when that happens, when you're, when you're constantly pushing beyond what you think, what you know is possible, you're always sweating a little bit and you're always a little bit nervous, but that is the drug. And so when you're pushing like that and you're never really relaxed, then it always feels small. Anything you want good, you can have. So claim it. Work hard to get it. When you get it, reach back. Pull someone else up. Aspire to make a difference. I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. Nothing. Nelson Mandela said, there is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. To get something you never had you have to do something you never did. Les Browns, a motivational speaker, he made an analogy about this. He says, imagine you're on your deathbed and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on. The ghost of the talents you didn't use. And they're standing around your bed angry, disappointed, and upset. They say, we, we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they said. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are going to be around your bed when your time comes? Can't live my life based upon what other people think about me. So I can't concern myself too much with what other people think, you know, it's just not healthy. I, I don't think I'll con I could continue to do what I do if I was constantly worrying about what somebody thought about it. If you're going to be good at something, it does take a while. Just enjoy the getting there. You're going to get fed up, you're going to get disheartened, and people are going to tell you you're useless. Had all that. But what I can say, after about 15 or 20 years, I learned how to do something well, and I enjoyed that getting there as much as being there.
Now I'm sure in your experiences in school and applying to college and picking your major and deciding what you want to do with life, I'm sure people have told you to make sure you have something to fall back on. Make sure you got something to fall back on, honey. But I never understood that concept, having something to fall back on. If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back on anything except my faith. I want to fall forward. I figure at least this way I'll see what I'm going to hit. Fall forward. This is what I mean. Reggie Jackson struck out 2,600 times in his career, the most in the history of baseball. But you don't hear about the strikeouts. People remember the home runs. Pitching skills get better and better. That hitter needs to be able to adapt and adjust. The best thing that ever happened to me, the best thing that ever happened to me is I hit rock bottom. By far the best thing that ever happened to me is hitting rock bottom. I think, I think for men, I have two boys and I'm gonna be in pain when I witness these guys go through this. But I think the best thing that can happen to a man is a heartbreak, a very strong heartbreak, and a very big failure early on in business. And it happened to me early on in life, both heartbreak and business, it happened early on because I thought I knew it all. And it was a slap in the face to say, if Socrates says, the only thing I know is that I know nothing, if the greatest minds on their deathbed are saying things like that, what makes you and I think we know everything? If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back on anything except my faith. I want to fall forward. He said, but imagine if you will being on your deathbed and standing around your bed the ghost of the ideas the dreams the abilities the talents given to you by life and that you for whatever reason you never acted on those ideas you never pursued that dream you never used those talents we never saw your leadership you never used your voice you never wrote that book and there they are standing around your bed looking at you with large angry eyes saying we came to you and only you could have given us life and now we must die with you forever So it's not how much you have, it's what you do with what you have. And we all have different gifts. Some money, some love, some patience, some the ability to touch people. But we all have it. Use it. Share it. That's what counts. And the question is, if you die today, what ideas? What dreams, what abilities, what talents, what gifts will die with you? Ask the question when you're thinking big, why not you? And answer it. I'm not just doing this motivational video, why not you? Why shouldn't you win? No, no, forget motivation, let's get logical. Why not you? Actually answer that. Why can't you be somebody that can do something in your business that's never been done before? Why not you? Answer it. So give the argument. Logically, here's why not me. Because I don't work hard enough. You can fix that, stop being lazy. Well, whatever, but because 
I'm not that good in sales. You can learn sales. So, okay, because I don't know much about the product. You can learn the product, but why not you? Uh, because no one in my family has been rich. So what? No one was in rich in Zuckerberg's family before he became who he is today. And nobody was in Jobs. Jobs' mom even gave him up for adoption. So many things go wrong when you're starting a company. And often I think people ask, you know, what mistakes uh, should you avoid making? And, you know, my answer to that question is don't even bother trying to avoid mistakes because you're going to make tons of mistakes, right? And the, the, um, the important thing is actually learning quickly from whatever mistakes you make and not giving up. Sometimes life's going to hit you in the head with a brick. Don't lose faith. I'm convinced that the only thing that kept me going was that I loved what I did. You've got to find what you love. I mean, there, there are things every single year of Facebook's existence that could have killed us or made it so that it, it just seemed like moving forward and making a lot of progress just seemed intractable. But you just kind of bounce back and you learn. And um, nothing is impossible. You just have to kind of keep running through the walls. So why not you? Make the argument. Why not you? Truly get into it. Then give the other argument. Why not you actually doing this? Why shouldn't you be? Why, why shouldn't you be the person and say, "I'm a very smart person. I love people. I actually like to make money to make a difference in the world. And you know what? I care for people. And I have some things I want to do. If I get money in my pocket, it'll be good. I'll do good with it. And I got a big heart. And I am talented. And da, 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 and I know the right people. Boom. That's why not you." Four years after starting, SpaceX rolled out its first rocket, an unmanned booster called the Falcon 1. Falcon has cleared the tower. But the first three test flights failed to reach orbit. When you had that third failure in a row, did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. I mean, I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. Who convinced you can't do it? Who convinced you can't be part of a group of people? I watch so many guys on YouTube that, you know, are, are even some of these guys are considered experts by big magazines and they've written New York Times bestsellers and they say some shit like, oh, you know, entrepreneurs are born. Give me a damn break. Entrepreneurship can be taught. Entrepreneurship is an inspiration that comes from here for some people that want to solve a bigger problem. What do you mean entrepreneurship is something you're born with? I completely disagree with that statement. Fully disagree with that statement. If you want to do anything worthwhile in life, you've got to be hungry. And so I started working to develop myself. He said, I want you to practice every day being a disc jockey. I said, but I don't have any job now. He said, it doesn't matter. He said that it's better to be prepared for an opportunity and not have one than to have an opportunity and not be prepared. So every day I was working to develop myself. And that's what you must do. Entrepreneurship, it is a formula. If you hang around other people that think like this and you watch this video and you watch all of Value Tainment or some of the people that are feeding the right type of content to you and the right books you read, your imagination won't stop working. Because the entrepreneur is numbers, solving problems, how can I do it better, faster? Why can't you learn those skill sets? Why can't you? You can. So why not you? And don't let anybody convince you that people who solve some big problems and you know, are big thinkers, they have to be born be, being big thing. I'm here to tell you, you can figure out the formula to thinking bigger. Greatness is not this uh, wonderful, esoteric, elusive, uh, godlike feature that only the special among us are, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us it's very simple this is what i believe and i'm willing to die for it
I feel so strongly that the reason I'm here is I dream big dreams. I dream the kind of dreams that other people said would not be possible. I'm also living proof. This isn't a Hollywood movie. I come literally from the other side of the tracks. If you saw where I grew up and we took a picture of it, the neighborhood, the setting, you say it's not, it's impossible that someone could come from there and get here. You can do anything. But there will be people along the way who will say to you, you know, you're dreaming too big. It's not possible. Those things just can't happen. Don't allow anyone, friend, family, acquaintance, teachers, whoever it is, don't allow anyone to tell you that what you are dreaming for yourself and your family is not possible. It is possible. Don't be one of those people 20 years from now are going to be walking around in a 9 to 5 job miserable and angry and bitter because you let your dreams get away from you because you did not believe stronger enough in yourself and what was possible. Don't allow that to happen. This is an unbelievable time. And I, I can't encourage you enough to continue to think that things are possible and that your dreams can come true. At least I feel like I failed when I didn't put everything I had into, the, into a problem. So really, it goes back to the analogy I made at the beginning, is if you don't put it all out there, if you don't put everything you got into solving the problem, then that's failure. So you have to learn from the mistakes that you make, and you've got to create an environment where people are not afraid uh, to take a risk and not afraid to do things that are beyond uh, what the expectations are. Fear is the disease. Um, hustle is the antidote. You can't count on sales. You can't count on anything but just crazy hustle and just grit your teeth claw your way to success. There was just no easy way to do it. Uh, in order to be this disruptive to what's going on, you have to have, you have to be willing to, to fight. Uh, and you have to not be, you, you can't be shy. Never stop until you're the best. Like, I don't believe in doing anything halfway. I believe in going all the way. You never stop. I keep my eyes on a prize. You want to be a, always pushing beyond what you're comfortable with. Don't wait to be asked because nobody's going to ask you. And don't wait for the perfect conditions because they'll never be perfect. 
Did nobody get in there and put the gloves on for me? Did nobody go out there on that road and run miles and miles for me? Nobody took the broken ribs. Nobody took the bloody nose. I did it all. I dedicated myself to my crap, and I bust my ass. It's never personal for me. It's always business. And you just have to take the plunge. I never overlooked no opponent. I train for every fighter the same way. I push myself. I believe in my skills and I believe in my talent. There's always a way if you're committed. Just gotta keep changing your approach. You got fighters that may be faster than me. You got fighters that may hit harder than me. But you don't have no fighter that can make adjustments like me. You don't have fighters that can be on my level mentally. It's never personal for me. It's always business. You get to where you're trying to get to by staying focused, staying on a parallel path. My thing is this, I keep my eyes on the prize. I never focus on things outside the ring. My focus is the guy that's in front of me. I always had a dream. And my dream was to be the best. No matter what happens. When it comes down to boxing, I'm the best at this. Right now, do you believe you're the best in the world? Oh, I, I feel I'm the best ever. Great moments are born from great opportunity. And that's what you have here. That's what you've earned here tonight. One game. If we played them 10 times, they might win nine. Not this game. Not tonight. Tonight, we stay with them. And we shut them down because we can. The separation of talent and skill is one of the, 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 the greatest misunderstood concepts for people who are trying to excel, who have dreams that want to do things. Talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. People that are hungry are unstoppable, Mr. Brown. People that are hungry no excuse is acceptable. Go out and face the music, young man. And don't forget, stay hungry. Are you willing to keep working on it? Are you, will are you willing to realize that you have not done your best stuff yet, that you can better your best? Just everything you got today, not because of the school board. The only thing that I see that is distinctly different about me is I'm not afraid to die on a treadmill. You might have more talent than me, you might be smarter than me. There's two things, you're getting off first yeah. or I'm going to die. It's really that simple. It's about winning one-on-one -on -one battles. Fight to fight!
This is the instinct that says, you've had enough. This is the instinct that says, you've, you've, you've given it your best shot. You can, you can stand down. You can back off. You can take a knee. This is the instinct that says, you can rest now. Do not listen to that instinct. Do not listen. That instinct is a liar and wants to bring you down. That's the instinct that's a defense mechanism. It wants to give you an out, a place to run to. A lot of people never get to where they want to be because they'll never stop complaining about where they're at. I'm going to say it again. A lot of people will never get to where they want to be because they will never stop complaining about where they're at. The word complain means to remain or to stay overnight. So if you want to stay right where you're at, just keep complaining about it. And I can pretty much guarantee you that you'll still be there. And they'll tell you, you did the best you could. No, they'll say the deck, the deck, the deck was stacked against you. And they'll say, it's not your fault. And they'll tell you, it's okay to stop. It's okay to settle. It's okay to give up. And that is the instinct you need to fight. You need to push back, to smash into the ground. Do not take the easy way out. Do not give up based on instinct. If you are forced to stand down, to retreat, so that you can rebuild and reattack. So be it. But make that decision based on logic, not on the instinct of surrender and defeat. Get up. Go. Fight on. You know, in life, you go big, you go home. I tried to climb, and I didn't get to the summit today, but that doesn't mean I'm going to give up. That doesn't mean I'm going to stop. Listen, life's about, you know, falling down and getting up. It doesn't matter how many times you get knocked down, it's about getting back up. And it doesn't matter how you get knocked down in life, because that's gonna happen. All that matters is that you gotta get up. So if there's any kid out there that's told by a parent or a coach or a teacher or somebody that they look up to, somebody that's supposed to push them and believe in them and they're told no, don't listen to them. Believe in yourself. Sometimes the outcome isn't always what you desire it to be. But the true failure in life is not trying at all. Then nobody wants to rock the boat. Nobody wants to change. And at that moment, a voice came over me. And it said, look up. Get up. And don't ever give up. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You 
Me or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But I listened to what Jim Valvano said 21 years ago. The most poignant seven words ever uttered in any speech anywhere. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. It should be impossible for me to get back up, but it's not. One's dream is constantly evolving, rising and falling, changing course. So you've got to have some reasons that when life knocks you down, and it's going to. Hello, it's going to knock you down. When you want to throw in the towel and give up yourself, and that's going to happen, what reason can you remember that you can call on, that you can reach on, that can make you get back up? Find that reason. I'm doing this because I want to make my mama proud. I'm doing this because I want my children to have a better life than what I have. I'm doing this because all my life I've been told I'd be a loser, that I wouldn't make it. There are few things more liberating in this life than having your worst fear realized. But I just want you to know that it's not the end. It matters how you're gonna finish. I started with nothing, and I was dealt a bit of a dysfunctional card, because I shouldn't have made it this far. Holding on to your dream and staying focused is really important. And also striving for perfection is, is healthy. And so if I could come from a council estate uh, in the middle of Stratford Avon and live in 17 houses before I was 16 uh, and win three Michelin stars, then yeah, I'm the real deal. Best revenge in life is massive success. But the point is this, it is our failure to become our perceived ideal that ultimately defines us and makes us unique. It's not easy, but if you accept your misfortune and handle it right, your perceived failure can become a catalyst for profound reinvention. So find out the reasons that you do what you do. Find out the reasons that will make you strong, that will make you walk by faith and not by sight, that will make you pursue your dream when everybody is against you or don't believe in you no more. If you know the why for living, you can endure almost anyhow. When life catch you on the blind side, when the messenger of misery visits you, what are you going to do? What will keep you in the game when life knocks you to the canvas? When life knocks you down, try and land on your back. Because if you can look up, you can get up. But I tell you, there are some times in life where you fall down and you feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. Pretend that everything's okay when it's not. Maybe you have doubt in your life. Maybe you don't know for sure what's going to be happening in the future and it scares you. You see, I will try 100 times to get up and if I fail 100 times, if I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? No.
And it's not the end until you've given up. And just the fact that you're here should persuade you that you have another chance to get back up. Let's see if what Douglas has when he comes out for this round. So the Buster Douglas that got knocked down while fighting Mike Tyson had gotten out of an alcohol recovery center. His mother had died. His wife was ill with a terminal illness. He was considered a nothing, a bum. So when he got knocked down, Buster Douglas had a reason to get back up because he said, I'm dedicating this fight to the memory of my mama. But if I fail, I try again and again and again. For as long as I try, there's always that chance of getting up. But today I tell you that whether you fear it or not, disappointment will come. The beauty is that through disappointment you can gain clarity, and with clarity comes conviction and true originality. But how that journey ends is up to you today. You see, when you fall down, you feel like giving up. When times get tough, it's not the end. What are the reasons that you can think of that can keep you strong, that can keep you in the game, that will be your rod and staff to comfort you, that can be your bridge? And the bell ends to save Buster Douglas at the end of round eight. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Why did it happen, James? Because I wanted it. Why? Why did you win this fight that nobody on the planet gave you? Of his mother. In what way? What are the reasons that you can think of? Cowards do that and that ain't you! You're better than that! True failure in life is not trying at all. To look up. Get up. And don't ever give up. Are you going to finish strong? And you will find that strength to get back up.